Good day everyone! Sa video ito, pag-uusapan natin ng arithmetic sequences. Yes, dun sa previous video natin, pinag-usapan natin kung ano ang sequence in general. At sinabi natin, ang isang sequence ay isa siyang ordered list of real numbers. So, special type ng sequences yung ma-encounter natin ngayon na tinatawag nating arithmetic sequence. And ito yung definition niya. So, a sequence is called arithmetic or arithmetic sequence if the differences between consecutive terms are the same. So, what do we mean by the differences between consecutive terms are the same? So, mukha lang siya nakakatakot yung tunog, pero madali lang talaga siya. So, ang ibig sabihin nun, a2 minus a1, syempre, number yun, ba? So, that is a2 minus a1 is the same as a3 minus A2, the same as A4 minus A3, nag apply sa lahat yon kung arithmetic sequence siya, hanggang maging A sub N minus A sub N minus 1. So, yung term before A sub N is A sub N minus 1. Okay, one term before A sub N. And we call these differences, common daw, daw ba? Uh, the same. So, common. So, dinedenote natin siya as letter D and we call it the common difference. So, let's give some examples of arithmetic sequences. Uh, this is an arithmetic sequence. Bakit siya arithmetic sequence? Kasi 5 minus 2, you get 3. 8 minus 5 is 3. 11 minus 8 is 3. 14 minus 11 is 3. 17 minus 14 is 3. So, common yung differences nila. And in this case, our D is... Over the history. Or kung mas madali sa inyong i-visualize ng hindi nagbaminus, pwede mong makuha yung next term by adding the same number D, the common difference. Okay? So, para makuha yung next, mag add ka lang ng D. mag add ka lang ng D. Actually, dito nga, o, oh, ba? If you add 3, you get the next term. Add 3, the next term. Add 3, get the next term. Okay? So, ito na yung tinatawag nating recursive formula. Bakit siya tinawag na recursive formula? So, note, uh, sulat natin yun dito. Scratch muna ta A sub n minus A sub n minus 1 equal to D. Or A sub N is equal to A sub N minus 1 plus D. So, sinasabi niya na yung N term mo is equal to the previous term plus your constant D, your common difference D. So, A sub N is equal to the previous term plus, plus D. So, isa yan sa mga formula na dapat tatandaan natin. Importanteng importante yan. So, yan yung naka-recursive form. So, how do we get n, tapos, ah, how do we get a sub n using the previous terms? So, ang tanong ngayon, how do we get a sub n in terms of n and other constants? Okay, nang hindi siya nakadepende doon sa previous term natin. Okay, so, balik tayo dito sa ating sa ating thing. Okay. So, kukopyahin ko lang siya kasi kailangan ulit natin siya. Okay. Suppose we have this arithmetic sequence. So, sabi natin that A1 or A2 is equal to the previous term plus yung common difference. Tama? And you can get A sub 2 equals siya sa 
uh, a sub 3 equals as a previous term plus plus b. But we know that a2 is equal to this. Ang gusto ko makita ninyo yung pattern dito para hindi nang tayo splok ng splok ng formula. So a sub 1 plus 2d. So that is a sub 3, a sub 1 plus 2d, a sub 2 is a1 plus d. What is a sub 4? a sub 4 is a sub 3 plus d. A previous term plus d. Sabi dito a sub 3, a uh, a sub 4 is previous term plus d. Ah, nakuha yan using our recursive formula a sub n, a sub n minus 1 plus d. At anong sabi natin? a sub 3 is equal to this. So get a1 plus 3d. Yan yung, may nakikita ba kayong pattern? Titignan nyo yung mga subscripts. Okay, so yung a, kapag 2 ito, 1 ito. Pag 3 ito, 2 a yun. Pag 4 yun, 3 yun. Tapos lahat sila may mga a sub 1. So, parang makocompute mo si a sub, a, a sub n using the formula na a sub 1, kasi lahat sila may a sub 1, plus something times d. At ano yung something na yun? Mas mababa ng isa, ba If 3 ito, kung 4 ito, 3 ito. Kung 3 ito, 2 yun. So, it must be n minus 1. At ito na yung ginagamit nating formula to compute the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. So, magbigay tayo ng, ng example. So, yung question now is, find uh, the 20th term. of the sequence. Okay, so dalawa lang naman yung formula natin. Our formula is a sub n equal to a sub n minus 1 plus d or a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Ang pinaka-importanteng bagay sa arithmetic sequence ay yung common difference d ha. Okay. So, aalamin nyo muna yung common difference D. Kasi gagamitin natin tong formula na to. So, if you want the 20th term, basically, ang pinapahanap lang sa sa'yo ay A sub 20. And A sub 20 is equal to A sub 1 plus 20 minus 1 times D. Okay? So, if you know A sub 1, and D, tapos ang usapan, mahanap mo yung 20th term niya. So, what is our A sub 1? A sub 1 is negative 1. What is our D? So, pag arithmetic sequence, kahit kuha ka lang na any term, tas minus yung previous na, that is D. So, let's say kuha tayo na any term, let's say 8. What is the previous term? 5. So, D is 3. So therefore, a sub 20 is equal to a sub 1 plus 19 times 3, which is negative 1. What is 19 times 3? May good. Ito na naman tayo. Mahina ako sa multiplication. I think it's 57. Okay. So a sub 20 or the 20th term is 56. This is a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3. Uh, we can actually check it manually. Although medyo matagal to, no? So, please bear with me. Para lang ma-illustrate ma sa inyo kung, kung ano ba talaga nangyayari. Ano ibig sabihin ng a sub 20? The 20th term. Para ma-verify natin yung sagot. Okay. So, a sub... Nawawala ng tinta talaga yung ano ko. So, a sub 6, a sub 7, a 8, a 9, a 10... So, hanggang 10 muna. So, yung first term is negative 1. So, 2, 5, 8, 11, 40. Mm. Tapos, mag-19, 20. Okay. So, 29. Kasi magdadagdag ka ng 3 dito. Tapos, anong lalabas? 32, 35, 38, 50, 53. Oh my God! Ang galing. Yung 20th term nga is 56. So, that's how you get the n term of an 
arithmetic sequence. Okay, so next question. So based dito dun sa table natin, our 16th term is 44. So paano ko ang binigay yung 44 pinapahanap kung pang ilan siya? So let's erase this one. So yung next question natin. Which term is in the sequence is 44? Okay, so pang ilang, pang ilang daw siya dun sa listahan. Actually, alam na natin yung sagot na pang 16 siya. So, siya si A sub 16. So, alam na natin yung sagot. So, ang tanong, paano natin siya kukunin using our formula? So, ang gagawin natin, hindi mo alam kung pang ilan siya, ba? But you know, it is some A sub N. You just have to find N. Pag nahanap mo si N, yun na yung sagot. A sub kung ano yung N mo. Okay, so we have our D equal to 3 and A sub 1 equal to negative 1. So, gagamitin mo lang itong formula ng ito. And then, solve for N. So, A sub N, sulat natin, is equal to A1 plus N minus 1 times D. A N is 44. A1 is negative 1 plus N minus 1 times 3. So, 44 is equal to negative 1 plus 3n minus 3. So, 44 is uh, negative 4 plus 3n. Pinag-combine lang natin ito. Tapos, ang mangyari, lipat natin yung sa kabila. So, 48 is equal to 3n. Then, divide both sides by 3. So, n is equal to 48 over 3 which is which is 16. So, therefore, A sub 16 is 44. So, yung 16th term is 44. So, ang sagot dito ay A sub 16 or the 16th term. Ano ba yung malipa at English? Which in the sequence is 44? Okay, which term? Nasabi ka naman ata yung kanina. So, which term in the sequence is a 44? So, I hope it's clear itong formula ito. Dun sa mga susunod nating videos, more exercises pa about arithmetic sequences. So, yun lang. Huwag kakalimutang i-like and subscribe ang ating channel. So, goodbye. Take care. See you soon.